To add a table of contents to a document, the first thing you need to do is highlight the headings and make sure you use the heading styles, which you can modify if you don't like that style. Highlight these headings, just do it like that, heading style one. And then if I just make myself a space at the top, and I'll put that one back to normal because it's on heading one still. I then go up to the reference tab, select table of contents, pick the style that I want, and there you go. Everywhere it finds a heading style, it will refer to the page number. Hi guys, welcome to this video on how to create a table of contents. My name's Steve. What I want to cover in this session is quickly how to do heading styles and edit heading styles, and then how table of contents would work if you added extra pages. So if I just undo what I've done on the screen, so get rid of that. So heading styles. So normally you have a title that you might have just typed, like so, you might have made that bold or italic or underline and changed the font style, etc. But it's not set as a heading style, which is these two up here. You've got other ones in there you can select as well. Plus you can add your own. So I'm just going to select heading style one. Now, if you don't like that style, so that is to hold me 12 points, if I right click on that, modify, you can get in there and you can change what it's doing. So at the bottom down here, this is what it's doing. You can have make a change. If I go to format, font, you can change things in there. You can go to format, paragraph, you can change spacing before and spacing after, which I've taken off because by default this would be on. And then you can just click OK or you can automatically update everything in this document and everything on a new document that's based on this will pick up that style. So I'll just click OK to that. So I haven't really changed anything. So you select the style you want and then you make yourself a space at the top. Make sure you put that back to normal. And as I did before, you go reference table of contents and apply the style. So there's the style. Now what happens if you change the page numbering? So you don't want to be typing out a heading style or a heading table of contents in your document because if the page numbers change, you'll have to manually change these if you've typed it. However, if you've used the table of contents feature, this happens. If I just do control enter, so I've knocked that onto a second page. So that's now on page two. This is page two. There's no numbers on the pages. So go back up to the top. Still saying that is on page one. I click onto this. You have this little icon at the top. It says update. I update that. Two options, just the numbers, which is what I'm going to go for. Or if you've if you've added an extra an extra heading, that's what you'd tick that option for. Clicking OK to that, and it's page numbered it straight away. You've also got, if you hover over that, look, you've got a hyperlink. If I hold my control key down, I'll get the hand. I can click to that and it will take me to that page. Like so. So that's how you can do a table of contents. That's all I want to talk about in this little video. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.